Hi, I'm Dr. Diane Cleverly of Personal Healthcare Information, and welcome to this week's episode of Frequently Asked Questions. This time we're going to be talking about Ebola. We've been hearing a lot about Ebola in the news, and there's a lot of people who are very concerned, so I'm hoping that we can um, help answer some of those questions. So the first question is, what is Ebola? Ebola belongs to the family of Filoviridae, and there's actually five species of the virus. The current outbreak is the Zaire, um, species. Unfortunately, this one is pretty nasty and many people who are infected with Zaire will die. What does Ebola look like? It's actually a long stringy virus and it has a lipid or fat covering it which helps it infect the cells. It also makes it easier to disinfect. It has RNA as its genetic material which means it can constantly be evolving and changing. Is Ebola a new virus the government created as a weapon? <laughs> no. Ebola has been known to be endemic in Central Africa. It was discovered in 1976. It probably actually lives inside an animal deep in the Congo, like maybe a fruit bat. So why is there this big epidemic all of a sudden? That's actually a really interesting question. Although it's been endemic in certain parts of Africa, the area where the epidemic is is unfamiliar with Ebola, so they really didn't recognize it right away. They've had a lot of political unrest. They went through civil wars and changeovers in government, and a lot of the infrastructure was destroyed and disrupted during those periods of time. Care resources are very low in these areas. They did a survey and found that that six um, of the counties in Liberia were actually serviced by only four doctors, four physicians, um, at the time of the outbreak. And the CDC reports that the cases are doubling every three weeks. What are the symptoms of Ebola? Well, the fever is the symptom that they're screening for at the airports. They're now screening the airports in the US and some other countries, um, people for fever. If headache, muscle pain, weakness, and the similar things that you get from most viruses um, you should be familiar with. And then the very last symptom is the one that differentiates it, and that's the unexplained hemorrhage or bleeding. They can appear anywhere from two days to three weeks after you're exposed to the Ebola virus. The average, though, is eight to ten days, and that's kind of that, um, that golden period that they look for when someone gets sick. The really important thing, and you probably have heard this on the news, they keep repeating this, is there's two to three days. There's a two to three day window. And what happens is you'll get, um, it's, if you're exposed, you'll get exposed to the virus. The virus will go somewhere in your body to hide and replicate. And then it will spill out into your blood and body fluids. So that's what happens. It's inside of you, but it's replicating in the cells. It has to build little copies of itself. And then it can get in your blood. And then it goes to the body fluids. So how can I keep from getting Ebola? Well, so basically direct contact is you don't, uh, it's broken skin, mucous membranes, eyes, nose, mouth. Um, and the kind of things you don't want to come in contact are, are uh, body fluids. So sweat, feces, saliva, urine, vomit, sputum, and semen. So those are the things that Ebola virus has been detected in. And also just to note, they did a study in an isolation ward of Ebola patients in Africa. And they did show that casual contact, so seats, sheets, bedding, dishes, did not cause transmission from these very sick people that they detected were shedding virus, but other people did not get Ebola from that. There are still some unknown causes of infection. They haven't been able to figure out how people have gotten infected um, exactly. So why are men in spacesuits showing up on my airplane? Although the virus itself will not float through the air, it is not an airborne virus you could come in contact with the virus encased in bodily fluids on a mucous membrane or broken skin due to close contact people who are healthcare workers or investigating ebola cases will wear protective clothing to prevent contact with bodily fluids of someone who is infected that is why you will see pictures of people wearing the biohazard suits to protect themselves. Is there a vaccine? There's no FDA approved vaccine yet. The first people 
who are going to get this vaccine are going to be healthcare workers, and they may be the only ones. Is there a cure for Ebola? There's no cure. Um, there's a drug that can help your body fight the infection. It uses monoclonal antibody technology. It's a summary. This is not the zombie apocalypse. Do not panic. Keep calm. Thank you for listening. And for more information, please visit us on the web at personalhealthinfo.weebly.com.